Look at all this wine. If you want to see what it's like to go wine tasting in Greece, stay tuned. Hi, my name's Ashley and I have a passion for world travel. So when I lost my corporate job back in 2019, it only made sense and was a lot cheaper for me to put everything in storage and live full time out of a carry-on suitcase. So I booked a one-way ticket, hit the road in search of what the new normal of travel looks like. But more importantly, I'm in search of what my new normal looks like. I am the In Search of Traveler. What's going on, Sergers? So I'm going wine tasting today, but first things first, I'm going to get my free Marriott breakfast. As part of one of the perks of being a Titanium member, breakfast is free. Let's go check out the buffet. The buffet is broken up into a few different sections. We've got the meats and dairies here. Then we move into the breads and fruits and some eggs and sausage. And we end with the juices and coffee. And if you're a carb lover, they also have cereal, milk, and all those fun things. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. I'm all gloved up. Yeah. I grab a tray, I line my tray, and I get all of my gadgets for the buffet, silverware, uh -oh. Making a mess. And my napkins. And here we go on the buffet. Okay, so now I usually have a nice leisurely breakfast that usually lasts two to three hours. And I bring my laptop down with me so that I can uh, be productive and slowly eat my breakfast. And most importantly, if you guys remember from my Istanbul videos this time last year, I started trying to drink two liters of water a day so I could get as much water as possible in my water intake. So that equates to about six of these glasses, which takes two to three hours for me to drink. So I work along the way and enjoy the atmosphere. This hotel's in a city called Partha, Greece, which is a random seaside town that I've never heard of. Apparently, it's the third largest city in Greece, and they're known for their wine country. Now, I would have never ended up here, except for the fact that I predominantly stay at Marriott hotels. I did a search for all of Greece and then sorted by price, and this hotel popped up. At $49.67 a night, if you book for a two-week period, it unlocks the extended stay rate, which is that amount. And if you want to use points, it's about 8,000 points a night up to 12,500 points a night, which is a really great deal at a Marriott property. And the best part is it's right across the street from the beach. So you can't beat that. The property also has a rooftop bar and restaurant that you can hang out and watch the sunset. It's hip, it's modern. There's a bar and restaurant in the main lobby. There's a pool, there's a business center, and it's just fun. It's definitely a hotel geared towards millennials, and I've been enjoying it. Okay, so I got a bunch of work done, put my laptop back in my room, and now I'm gonna grab a taxi and head to the winery. I'm so excited. Here we go. And here's my taxi. Okay. Hi. Hi. And we're off. The weather was so pretty yesterday and I decided to go wine tasting today instead and unfortunately it's starting to rain. So sad. so I don't know, but it's so pretty here. Who would have thought that there's wine country in Greece? I feel like I stepped into a fairy tale. Look at this. I don't really know where to go though. This looks right. Hello. Right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, do you have 
Uh, yes, I do. So they're checking for my vaccine card, which I brought in here somewhere. <laughs> okay. So in Greece, anytime you go anywhere, they want to see your vaccine card and sometimes your ID. So I brought my passport and my vaccine card. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Here's my vaccine card. Great. Mm -hmm. And we're off. Here we go. This place is so beautiful. Oh, look at these wine barrels. Literally, for scale, the wine barrels are literally taller than I am. It's insane. I would like to inform you uh, that you can take any picture that you like, but unfortunately, video is not allowed it. I'm okay. Sorry. Um, so, welcome to a high clouds. I bought the more expensive tour, so there's more of the winery that I get to see. So, I'm just waiting on the other tour guide to come. And we're off. We're gonna go to the vineyard and then we're gonna go down to the cellar to see where all the wine is. I'm really excited. It's my favorite part. Um, I'm originally from California, so I'm a big Napa fan. I love a red blend. So pretty. Marvro Daphne is the red leaves, that grape, and then the white or the yellow leaves is the Syrah. And now we're off to the wine cellar. So pretty, so much character here. That's like double security. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the bottles. Many different wines we produce. Yeah, a lot, huh? A lot of different flavors. Wow, look how the pretty packaging. Man, I wish I had a bigger suitcase. <laughs> and special editions. Oh, wow. Good. So pretty. Look at these boxes. Okay, now it's time to taste. I'm so excited. I get to try four different wines, which I picked in Greek from Googling, and then we just talked about it and what I like and what I don't like, and we switched one out uh, based on my taste bud, so I'm really excited. 2018 Chardonnay. Yes. Fermented in oak barrels and aged in oak barrels for mm, six to eight months. smells good. Yes. Mm. It's dry, but it's fruity yeah, at it's the same really time. Aromatic, I yeah, think. I like it. I actually really like it. Have you seen them? A vertical press, like a small press, where you put the grapes in and then manually you you put them there. Like the stomping, but yeah, with the wood. Like that. Okay, and somebody's cranking it. Yeah. That's somebody's job. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> a workout. I hope you enjoy. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Okay, and we go. Mm -hmm. That's interesting too. These are really interesting wines. What year is this, is the rosé? Uh, it's from 2020. Oh, mm-hmm. This is Melissea. Oh, this is the Moscato. Yeah. Look at this cute little glass. Okay. Oh, that's interesting too. Like every smell of wine is like not what I was expecting. <laughs> so this wine is mm. made with um, Moscato grapes. Mm. There's like this... a kick at the end. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Okay, so this is the famous one that you guys are known for, right? Yes. Oh my goodness. And this is sweet? Mm -hmm. All four of them are very interesting. Mm -hmm. Different, but good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What's your favorite wine here? Uh, my personal favorite? Well, oh, <laughs> it's hard, honest, huh? It's um, one of our newest wines mm -hmm. uh, from a higher clouds. Maybe I can pour just a little bit to taste. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> thank you. So, what's this one called again? Lovely. Oh, it smells delicious though. Mm -hmm. 
Gosh, these are such unique wines. So I need to ask you, which was uh, my favorite? Yes. I actually kind of like that last one. <laughs> I really like the last one. I really like the Chardonnay, which is weird because those are the two whites and I used to be a red yes. wine drinker, but they were also unique. Okay, my taxi's here. So I'm gonna take it back to my hotel and grab some dinner, maybe another glass of wine. Here we go. Uh, for the Moxie. to the hotel. Gonna grab some dinner. Let's see. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to now go to my favorite restaurant. This is across the street from my hotel. I had him take me back to my hotel because I didn't know what the restaurant was called. But it's literally just right down the way and it has the best sunsets and the sun's about to set. This place is right on the water. Usually it's beautiful views, but it's a little gloomy and rainy today, but that's okay. I'm not gonna let that stop the fun. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's not a barcode okay, okay, okay. for America. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Delicious. I got the sampler, so on it, I've got like an egg roll thing. I've got this like, I think this is the cheese Danish. Or no, this is a cheese roll. I don't know what this is. I've got some cheese on it. I've got cucumbers with something on it. Meats, I mean, it's everything. It's off the appetizer menu, some sausage thing. It's pretty good. I normally wait for the sunset here, but it's cloudy today, so I'm gonna insert a different sunset from, from when I was here before. But that's it for today. So don't forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next week. Bye.